Rocky's feeling better, huh? Yeah, he had a good night's sleep. At least somebody did. Why? Your double date getting a little confusing? Yeah, uh, Dylan totally bailed. You know, I'm actually starting to believe he thinks something's going on between me and Kelly. Is there? You see, that's why I shouldn't be telling you these things. Have fun at your rally. We will. Today is the day I see you stops animal testing. I'm sure they will. Be there or beware. Give them hell, sis. I get out of here. Are Brenda and Donna running late? They're at the animal rights rally, no doubt. Huh, good for them. But they're going to miss our class on folk medicine. I brought in some artifacts. Yeah, Kelly. I didn't think we finished Wednesday's discussion on fidelity. Oh, I think it went its course. I didn't think we um, ever really explored the concept of betrayal. Well, if you're looking for an anthropological model, you can try the Eskimos. Do they go after each other's mates? As a matter of fact, when a man goes off hunting, he expects other men to satisfy his wife. And when the women go off gathering, do other women head straight for their boyfriends? <laughs> they might. It's so much a part of their culture, they even have a word for it. Unga token describes the close bond they all feel for sharing the same lover. Fortunately, we are not Eskimos. Or are we? Kelly, we talked about how men and women aren't monogamous by nature. Traditional monogamy only works when everyone adheres to the same morality. So, going after a friend's husband is actually a natural reflex? Not quite. But I do believe, like the Eskimos, that relationships can be healthier if people are more honest with each other about their sexual impulses. And that's as honest as I can be. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm afraid it does. Okay, well, if you all want to come up to my desk, you can check out some of these different items which are used by women who are healers. Hi, guys. Hey, Kel. Hey, Kel. Want to sit down and help us with baby names? Um, Brandon. No, we've actually got some business to discuss. Excuse us. <sighs> Thanks for meeting me. You're welcome. What's up? Um, I don't really know where to start. You think there's something going on with them? I don't know. I, I mean, I never would have thought so, but you should have seen Kelly in class today. I mean, she and Lucinda were supposedly discussing monogamy, but there was, I don't know, a whole lot more going on in theoretical discussion. So that's why Dylan's been acting so weird. Do you think it could be true? She's certainly capable of it. It's not as if she's ever claimed to be anything other than what she is. I just never thought she'd try it with Dylan. Any more than Dylan ever thought I would try it with you. At least some of us know when to stop ourselves. But did we stop ourselves any sooner than Dylan did? I mean, maybe Lucinda's right. Maybe under the right circumstances, we are all capable of betrayal. This is really bad. If I want to have an honest relationship with Dylan, I am going to have to tell him what happened between you and me at the retreat? No, I think you should let me tell him. No. I think that would be best if I was the one to tell him first. <laughs> <laughs> 